Flint resident is being recognized for her pivotal role in helping spread awareness of the uh, Flint's contaminated water crisis. Uh, now, according to Business Insider, Leanne Walters is now the winner of the uh, Goldman Environmental Prize. Now, what does this mean? Uh, she is one of six people around the world chosen for their grassroots environmental activism and has been awarded a cash prize of $200,000. Now, that's amazing, right? So let me tell you about why she is being recognized and why this is an amazing thing. Now, her story starts when her and her children uh, began getting sick from drinking contaminated water. Now, she and her older daughter uh, began experiencing hair loss, strange hair loss. They couldn't explain it. And her three-year-old twins began breaking into uh, strange rashes in which the doctors could not explain the presence of. Not only that, but her teenage son began uh, suffering from blurry vision and an enlarged kidney. So all of these different things didn't make sense to the family. Like, what's going on? Why are our children, why are my children getting sick? Why am I losing my hair? What the hell is going on? It wasn't until their water started turning brown that they put everything together and decided uh, to investigate what was going on with her water. So what she did is that she basically first began uh, investigating what lead poisoning does to the body and then putting all these different things together. Now, um, that led to her getting tested, uh, her home uh, getting tested for lead. After conducting her own testing, she found that the lead levels in her home, the water that her children had been drinking, that she had been drinking, was actually worse than hazardous waste. It was classified as hazardous waste. That's insane. Though That's how bad the lead levels were. Now, once she got that tested, once she found out the truth, she began to ask other people in the neighborhood. She's like, hey, uh, are you getting these symptoms? What's going on with your water? You know, is it coming out brown? What's going on? Let's get your water tested as well. So pretty soon, she was able to get together with her neighbors, test all their water, and uh, then uh, bringing it with, uh, to uh, Virginia Tech professor Mark Edwards to start not just testing in their individual homes or communities, but trying to test the entire city for elevated lead levels in the water. In fact, um, Walters remembered thinking uh, at the time, here's a professor, he's willing to get us test kits. If we're willing to bust our asses and get this done and prove that this is city-wide. So, and what did she do? She put in the legwork, her and the community, and they got all of these water, uh, all these homes tested, which went and disproved some of the official tests done by the city and showed that there was an actual, there was, there was a real problem with the water in Flint. So she was absolutely instrumental in exposing the Flint water crisis and, of course, the cover-ups by state officials, of which there have been arrests and convictions on so far. And hopefully more to come. Now, together, uh, Waters, uh, Walters and her neighbors and the Virginia Tech team collected more, uh, more than 800 independent water samples from homes around Flint. And of course, those kits helped prove that there was a citywide problem. Now, since uh, helping to find out the truth about Flint, Walters has decided that this is not enough. It's not just a Flint problem, she said. Um, it's actually a problem all across the United States. And what she's doing now is gearing up to be able to independently test all these different water sources around the country, which is amazing. Now, she believes that there are too many loopholes allowed in how cities test their water to make sure that it's actually drinkable. She also wants to change the way that the U.S. and EPA writes its lead and copper rule so that cities can't skirt testing by essentially messing with the water that comes out of the tap, as what happened in Flint. Look, here's what the, some of the testers would do. They would basically flush the taps, for one. Uh, 
they would tell residents, okay, let your water run for about two, three minutes, which would decrease lead levels. Not only that, but they would test homes that were very unlikely to be affected. These are homes with brand new pipes. Um, and so that would also have an impact on what the uh, tests had actually said. So, look, uh, she wants to go and, 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 and do independent tests because, just like Flint, there are corrupt city officials that would love to cover up the problem of lead levels in the water. So I think that's absolutely amazing, uh, an amazing goal, and it's just amazing that what she's been doing. So I love this story. Again, here's somebody who was personally affected and taking the energy um, that she, uh, you know, uh, got from finding out that, that this had happened and turning that into positive action and turning that into a way to help other people. And, and I absolutely love that. So she is out there trying to make sure that everybody else has access to clean water as well. So it's wonderful to see her recognized for that work and for the amazing work that she is continuing to do. So hats off to her. Um, she is a, a real American hero. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you wanna support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.